I wanted to give you a quick look at how to create an exercise like this where the learner needs to find specific items on your screen. And as they do, this little value down here at the bottom is showing how many they've found. And if they click in the wrong area, they get a message saying that wasn't quite right. Then if they keep clicking and find all of the correct items, they get a different message once they're finished. This is actually really easy to create in Storyline. The first thing that I did was create a simple number variable. And you can do that by clicking on this little X in the lower right of the trigger pane. And mine's already set up here. It's called Found. But here's how you would create one of your own. You can click on this Create a New Variable button. And you can give your variable whatever name you want. I named mine Found. The type of variable is going to be a number because we are keeping track of a value and you can leave the initial value set to zero like this one and then click OK and you're all done setting up your variable. And then you just need to tell Storyline when you want to increase the value of that variable. So what I did is I drew some ovals on my slide. I can select them like this and you can see that they're placed over top of the cherry tomatoes and you can't see them because they're transparent. In fact, if we come up to the Format tab and click in the corner of the Shape Styles menu, you can see on my Fill uh, dialog here, I've set the transparency to 100%. But if I drag this back, you can see the color. I really didn't want the learner to see the color, though, so I set it to 100. And for the line color, I chose No Line. That way, it's totally invisible. And the reason that I used a shape like this is because I also wanted to give that shape a visited state with the little yellow check mark so learners would see when they selected the correct item. So down here in the States panel, you can see that this is my visited state. You can create your own by selecting the object and then click Edit States and then just click this New State button and you'll have a choice in this drop down for visited. You're not seeing one here because I've already got a visited state that I created. And all I did to add the check mark is with this visited state selected, you can come up to the insert tab and choose shape and then select the check mark and just draw it right on your slide where you want it to appear and then click done editing states when you're finished. So I copied and pasted that for each of the other five cherry tomatoes. And then I created a trigger for each one to tell Storyline to increase the count each time the learner clicks. And that's what these are over here. I'll just open this first one up so you can see. So all I did was tell Storyline what I wanted to have happen and when. So the action is adjust the variable that I called found. That's the one that we created a little bit ago. And we want to add a value of 1 each time the learner clicks oval 1. In this case, it's that first oval. However, I wanted to add this condition. You can add a condition by clicking on the green plus sign. And the condition tells Storyline to only add a value of 1 if that oval is not yet visited. In other words, I don't want the learner to keep clicking on the same oval over and over to increase the count. I only want that to happen the first time they click. So that's what the condition is all about. Super easy to set that up. And then I also created um, another oval behind the other one. So if we go to the timeline here, you can see that the plate oval um, which is also transparent with no line, is um, you know positioned behind my other cherry tomato ovals. And that plate oval is what I used to trigger the oops layer, this one right here. So that's really easy to set up as well. Um, when you go to your trigger pane, you can say to show the layer called oops when the learner clicks on you know the item that you don't want them to select. And similarly, I've got another layer on my slide that tells learners when they're done. And this also gets displayed with a trigger. So here's the trigger for that. I'm just telling Storyline, show the layer called Done when the variable changes, the variable called Found, but only when that variable is equal to 6. And that way, it's only going to pop up when the learner has found all 6 tomatoes. Now, as far as displaying the value of the variable, that's done down here. And this is really easy, too. This is just a text box that I added. I'm just going to delete my variable reference so you can see how easy it is to insert it. So I've just typed some text in here. And then I'm going to put my cursor in the place where I want my variable value to appear. And all i got to do is come up to the Insert tab and then choose Reference. And then this is going to list all my project variables. There's the one that we called Found. So it's already selected. We're good to go. We just click OK. And then Storyline inserts this little placeholder, this little dealy with the you know percent signs around it. And that's what's going to be replaced with the actual value when the learner you know clicks on the cherry tomatoes. So if we preview this, you know, we'll see how the value changes. So it's super easy to create a exercise like this in Storyline.